Welcome to Hume How To. We're going to show how to install our sliding smart robe system. The tools you will need are a tape measure, claw hammer, chisel, Phillips head screwdriver, cordless drill, drill bits, driver bits, spade bit, spirit level, builder's rule, step ladder, packers, assorted screws, assorted nails, pencil, and your ear, eye, and dust protection. The fittings supplied with your new Hume sliding smart robe system are door guides, track screws, guide screws, pre-cut flat jam for the sides, pre-cut flat jam for the head and silk, bottom track, top track, smart robe doors with wheels factory fitted, and a handy installation guide. We will be installing a two-door smart robe system. The Hume smart robe is available in two, three, and four door options with any internal door from our extensive range. We will be using two variants from our Sheik range. For our full range of doors, go to our website www.humedoors.com.au To start, measure the opening. Do so in multiple places to ensure correct height and width. Refer to our website for stud opening sizes. Place your pre-cut flat jam in a position to assemble. Ensure the flat jam is slightly smaller than the opening. Using a cordless drill, pre-drill pilot holes. This will help during the assembly. Now insert screws. Repeat for all four corners. Place the assembled flat jam in the opening. Check the jam is level. Pack behind the jam. More or less packing may be required to set the jam square. Check that the sill is level and pack under the sill if required. Fix off using a claw hammer and nails. Now carefully place the bottom track in the opening. Ensure the track is in the correct way up with the overhanging lip facing into the room. Pre-draw your pilot holes, then screw into place. Repeat this process over the entire length of the track. Now carefully place the top track in the opening and pre-drill holes. Then screw into place. Repeat this process over the entire length of the track. It's important to seal your smart robe doors top and bottom as you won't be able to once installed. Ensure it has a good coating and follow the manufacturer's instructions. We are now going to attach the guides to the top of the door. Measure 50mm from the edge, then using the guide, drill and insert screws. Repeat this step for the second guide. Now repeat the entire process for all the doors. We're now ready to place the rear door in the opening. Top first, then lowering the bottom track. Let's place the second door in the front track. Top first, then lower into the bottom track. Careful, some doors are heavy, so you may require some assistance. Check that the doors operate smoothly and close plumb against the jam. Adjustments may be required if the doors do not sit plumb. Using a Phillips head screwdriver, you can adjust the wheels up or down as required. Now that's perfect. It's now time to fit your architraves. Measure and mark out for flush pull handles. When using hollow core doors, ensure that you are in the lock block area. Using the flush pull as a template, mark out the area required. Now with a spade bit, pre-drill the marked out area. This will help when chiselling. Then, with your chisel, carefully chisel out the area and be sure not to go too deep into the door. 
We are going to use a builder's ruler to ensure the flush pull is straight and with the flush pull in place, pre-drill the pilot holes and then screw into place. Repeat this process on the other door. Your Smart Road unit is now complete. Quick and easy from start to finish. That's gold.